How would one prepare for front end interviews? The interviews landscape is so wild. What I have always done is I've built things and I have tried to understand why other things work. I've never actually passed an algorithms interview. Um, anytime that I've been given a, an algorithms interview, I failed it. I don't have a computer science education. I can't write a binary sorting algorithm from scratch. So a lot of times when I get into an interview loop, I'll just ask them like, hey, what does your tech interview look like? Because if it's an, if it's an algorithms interview, like we're wasting our time, I'm going to fail. What I have been able to do is by being upfront about that, if they only care about algorithms, fine. We just end the interview and it's it's good to go. But in other cases, like companies have said, well, we're we're trying to get better at, at interviewing, making interviewing more accessible. And so we'll do something like a project review, bring a piece of code that you've written. You know, we're going to put you into our repo. We want to see how you navigate code, how you, how you would approach solving a problem. That's just a choice I made. I'm cutting myself off. Like I'll never work at Google because I'll never be able to past that interview. I tried to interview at Facebook back in 2016 and I failed the, the interview so badly that the guy thought that I was like not the right person on the call. <laughs> Right. And this is after they recruited me. Like, I just, I don't know algorithms. Would it be helpful to me? I'm sure I would use that knowledge sometimes. Do I care enough to spend weeks studying algorithms to pass an interview? No, I don't. There are jobs that won't require it. So I'll take those jobs. That's part of it is, is like, if you care about working at Google or Facebook or, or one of the companies that does the algorithmic interviewing, then you'll need to do leak code. And yes, it sucks. And yes, it's not a practical skill set, And it's just going to be a thing you do. I think the other piece though, is remember that when you're interviewing, you are also interviewing the company. And a lot of times what I'm looking for in a candidate is somebody who's going to be thoughtful, good at communication, you know, aware of what the business does, invested in something beyond the code. So, you know, keep practicing your skills, be, have some projects that you can walk through. If it's that kind of tech interview, uh, build as many things as you can so that when you walk into a code base, you feel comfortable and you can kind of identify what things are and how they work. It's kind of a grab bag. Like it's, it's hard to know what you're going to get. And some companies are doing like, you know, back end interviews for, for front end code. And that's kind of a meme in this industry is that a lot of times the interviewers are just kind of playing gotcha. And you know, if you didn't learn the same trivia, they know, then you're not going to get that job. And that's okay. It's a numbers game. Just keep applying. Don't get discouraged if somebody says no. A lot of times when people are writing interviews or just trying to make sure that you suffer the way they suffered, you know, you probably don't want to work at a place like that anyways. So it's okay. Like keep your head up, keep learning, keep trying, and you will find yourself a job.